Just when you think you've got everything organized and everything's gonna go well, these things just happen. My drill has been missing. Missing. Alright. And then this popped out, and then this popped out. And they wouldn't make any money on priced work doing it like that. Well, when I was digging around, in the back of the car, I've stood on a bit of this skirting board.
everyone. I was going to do a video about this key drill chuck with an SDS adapter because my main drill where we mix with my mixing stick, we mix these buckets of top coat so they're nice and smooth. My drill has been missing. Missing, all right. Missing person's report has been filed. And um, so we thought rather than buying a new drill, we'd just get this adapter and put it on our hammer drill. And of course, whenever we pull the camera out, something crazy happens. And we're just trying to take this off hammer. And then this popped out, and then this popped out. So, off to sick bay it goes. So it looks like we're gonna be using this when it's not mixed up and it is a real pain. It falls off the hook, it's all powdery, you nearly break your arm. So that's consistent with my videos that whenever you pull them out and something stupid goes wrong. But never mind, it could be worse. So we're gonna just top coat the rest of this and we'll be out of there. This whole job has taken about two hours. You can see we've base coated, put the angle on everything like that and we're just waiting for it to dry we thought we'd mix this up and then this happened so we're going to take this to the sick bay to trade tools to my local trade tool store where they can repair these anyway you guys have a nice day enjoy the rest of the video and uh, make sure you subscribe if you're not subscribed and um i went flying on the weekend check that video out if you haven't seen it it was a lot of fun and hopefully doing it again soon Yep, we're good. We're out of there. We're rolling out onto the next job. Thank you for watching. Tune in next time. Same bat channel, same bat time. All right, there's a bit of traffic around. Sorry about the audio. Every single video I do, the audio sucks. I've got microphones. I just don't use them. Sorry about that. All right, so we've got sample for our walls. We're going to get that now. We're not painting it now. It's going to take a couple of days for it to dry and we're on our way to another job which we set the other day and it is around a solar power inverter and we took in a sample for that so we're going to get that we're going to get both samples now to save some time and then we're going to take the hammer drill back which is right here we're going to take that back to trade tools around the corner while we're waiting for this paint we'll do a little q a yeah. i'll roll through some of the questions and comments which i don't usually get to do Sam said about the drywall gangsters doing pipe joints, they do a tidy job, but seriously, we would have smashed this ages ago, and they wouldn't make any money on priced work doing it like that. Well, I'm pretty sure they do make money, and here in Australia, this townhouse is only like less than test. There's less than ten butt joints in the whole joint. It's not like the U.S. where there's like only three meter sheets, something like, like that. The townhouse is not a good example of, of smashing meters. You want big slabs. Mac the Slovak. A lot of people watch this and figure it's amazing how fast these guys work. 
but in all reality this is just guys who have been doing something for years it's not rocket science what are you talking about whose side are you on Eugene Hidayat Tula asked does the compound you use have a mixture of other ingredients or is it from the factory it is just straight from the factory it's colored like that so you can see the difference between your second and third coat and also maybe so the painter has to do enough coats for it to cover uh, he also asked how long does it take for the compound to dry well, we used to go on. Um, it takes overnight they normally uh, wait overnight before they recoat it so they do the base coats one day and then they come back and do the top coat another day let everything dry out properly Chris Krieger said get some stilts half of your time is spent on the job is going up and down a two-step ladder makes no sense well there is a guy on the stilts and he's just doing angles so a lot of the angles are down low so there's not like you're not gonna if you're on stilts you can't do it from the ground up can you so uh, great job you guys are doing but as a taper myself I have a question for you why not do the nails like that which means using a box or a nail spotter uh, it's not more work on your hands question mark well because we use glue as well we got half as many screws to patch so it's pretty quick to just hit it hit it by hand that's it I'm done with the Q&A we've got our paint got some uh, cheap rollers cheap but good because we don't get a lot of chance to wash these out get this freaking mask off Fine by me. We just. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so Eugene was like, man, I handle no, this. No, I don't. Be blown, yeah. Yeah. Um, we're just trying to switch this, and then this came off. So we're good. No, we didn't lose any. No. I think it just probably clips back in. I don't even it's know. It's maybe it. 12 months old, or. Yep. Do you want me to leave it with you? Or Give us a. Just a few minutes if you don't mind. Yeah, yeah I think uh, it's, it's easy. Uh, yeah. yeah. It might only take us a few minutes. Yeah, yeah. We'll shop around and have a look. Yeah. We Don't might know. even buy some. I'll, uh, I'll track this down. <laughs> Thanks. Like a changeable blade. Like, like. Not that? No, it doesn't have a screw pocket. I don't need one, but. I like the whisk. I don't, I don't like the milk. I just know. Yeah. You know, you oh, want. Whisk. Hey, don't I? Nice. It's so basically what, was what, it? what had happened when you've gone into hammer mode, um, it wasn't engaged and it's caused that to just pop out. Yeah. Uh, pretty simple. If you're in drill mode, yeah. if you flick it into hammer mode, just Sometimes. give the chuck a couple of clicks just yeah. to engage it. That It'll just engages it, it. Thank you very much for that. Alright, she's all good. That was a quick and easy repair. That is why I shop at Trade <laughs> Tools, my friend. Appreciate it. No worries. That is awesome. All right, guys, we got to this next job. And this was the inverter. It was just on a, stuck to a bit of metal, and we actually had to sheet in and behind it. I'll show you a picture. And I didn't film when we did it. We just come back. It's been a few days since we did it. Anyway. I didn't have any frames in the car, so I'm gonna to have to use this big one, of course. And then I popped my air cell. Look at that. Spongy. So, not happy about that. So we're gonna to have to take these suckers back. So, yeah, just when you think you've got everything organized and everything's gonna go well, these things just happen, all right? And it's, they happen, it's about how you manage these problems. So we're just gonna, uh, this is the paint that we got matched that I was telling you about. And we're just gonna roll the coat on now with this oversized roll line. I didn't, I didn't wanna use this. I've got that many sleeves that are wrapped up, but no frames. Now we're gonna have to use this big one. Especially in a dark color. It's hard to wash out, especially when you wanna use it for the ceiling. So it's a real pain. Shoes are a pain, this thing's a pain. It's a but anyway, that happens. I'm 
taking these shoes back. You want shorty? You got a hold, oh, yeah. It will be quicker though. That's beside the point. <laughs> Alright, not much to see here, we're just going to finish rolling out and catch you in the car on the way home. Yeah, bad fit. Fitment. Installation. Looks pretty good. Looks as close better as than we came. Actually, it is a pretty good job. And we're just going to stick this back on. So, put that one back on. The nails should do the trick. Oh, sorry, folks. Touches. There we go. Get the level out. Yeah, that's good. Beautiful. All right, no worries. Gonna let the client know we're all done. Push up out of here. You notice I've got any shoes on here? Good. Uh, the other ones are getting ready to go back already. Thank you. This is probably actually signing off now. Talk soon. Yep. And that'll be a wrap. I'll make sure you take my drill. I just want to document it all. Alright. See if you can guess what I'm doing now. I'm taking my shoes back. Got the receipt. The air cells, they just went down. Don't know what happened. You want to see a magic trick? Ta-da! What do we get? What do we get? Oh. Nice, very bright. I don't know, they're the most comfortable shoe ever. So comfortable. And I wear them to work. Because they're comfortable. Up and down the ladder all day. I don't like wearing boots. I don't need to wear boots. Anyway, I just said the air cell popped. She didn't ask any more questions. So, got a new pair of shoes.